Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video, I'm speaking all about Google Ads and with a specific focus on tracking your conversions within Google Ads. So you want to know how well your Google Ads are actually converting for you into leads and or sales. And I'm going to also focus specifically on Shopify as well. So for those of you who have Shopify stores and you're running Google Ads to try and drive not just traffic, but tangible leads and sales to your Shopify website, then this tutorial will help you out. Now, this video is actually sponsored by Okiano. Now with Okiano, you can actually automatically create ads and you don't have to worry too much with all of the setup process. They will uh, create all of your conversions for you and they will optimize all of your adverts. And I had done a full tutorial on how to use Okiano and I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. So if you are considering doing Google ads or your Google ads are not performing well for you, why not leave it to the professionals? Let them run the Google ads directly to your website for you. And all you have to kind of then focus on is managing your orders. So I actually have a coupon code where you can get 50% off of Okiano for the first three months. So make sure you utilize that test Okiano out for your store, drive traffic to your store and drive sales to your store for the first three months. And you should be making more than you're spending by then. And you can continue on with Okiano. But for the purposes of this video, let's dive right in. As you can see, I'm actually in my Google Ads account now. So um, what you want to do when you're in your Google Ads account is actually come up here to where it says tools and settings. And you want to go underneath measurement. Here is where you can actually create some conversions. So what we want to do is click on conversions. And then here you can set up your conversions. You can tell Google ads what a conversion means for your website. So if you click on conversions, then you want to choose which conversion options you want to track. Now, obviously for your Shopify store, it's likely that you're going to want to track website conversions. And then you want to select what kind of category of conversion. So um, for example, they have purchase, they have uh, add to cart, they have a begin checkout and loads of different other options as well. Now, again, as a Shopify store owner, you want to track your purchases. Maybe sometimes you might want to track your add to cart if you wanted to. Um, but nine times out of 10, you're probably going to be tracking your purchases, the people who actually buy as a direct result of your ad. Um, so your conversion name, you can change this to be whatever it is, purchase or someone buys, whatever is going to be memorable for you. You also then want to choose your value. So this is quite important. So you want to measure the Im impact of your advertising by giving conversion a value. So you can use the same value for each conversion. So this is okay if you, for example, have um, a, a, a store that only sells one product or if you're doing lead generation and you want to track your leads. But if you have a store and people can buy at multiple different price points, then you're going to want to use the different values for each conversions. Um, and then you're going to want to select your uh, default value. So whatever default value or your, your products are being sold in, if it's Great British Pounds or uh, Euros or Dollars, here is where you can actually select that. So here you also want to select your count. So this is the select how many conversions to count per click or interaction. Uh, this is up to you. You can you can select every and this is re recommended for purchases because every purchase is then uh, kind of calculated as a value. Um, but you can track one as well. So this is mainly advised if you are tracking your leads. You can also select your click through conversion window and its default is 30 days. So basically what that means is if someone sees your ad on Google and they click, but they don't buy on day one, they might buy on day 15. It will still be counted as a conversion that came from your Google ads because obviously the, the person clicked the Google ad and you know, as long as it's within that conversion window that you select here, then it will be counted as a conversion. But if you put it as 30 days and someone clicks your ad, but they don't buy straight away, they buy, you know, on day 31, then that wouldn't be included as a conversion directly from your Google ads. So this is completely up to you. 
what you want to select this as um you know 30 days is fine you might want to go all the way up to 90 days if maybe you're selling a higher end product someone might take a longer time to make a buying decision so that's completely up to you and whatever product you are selling now there's also this view through conversion window as well so um, this is selected as one day and what that basically means is it will track the people who have seen your ad as an impression so they haven't clicked on your ad but they've seen it as an impression but they might also convert as well later on down the line now I don't necessarily know how effective this is so I would recommend just keeping that as one day and then you have include in conversions so as you can see you can include these conversions in your conversions column if you use conversion focused bid strategies they will optimize for these conversions so if you would like google ads to optimize for conversions that or for these type of conversions that you're setting up then you can select that if you don't then you can deselect that so i'm going to keep mine selected and then you can choose your attribution model as well so this comes down to what click is attributed to uh, your conversion so was it the last time someone clicked was it the first time someone clicked was it linear so uh, this basically distributes the, re the responsibility of the conversion between uh, different clicks and also you have time delay and position based as well i would just recommend going for last click um, because if someone if whatever ad they last clicked on someone last clicked on that's probably the ad that made them want to make that purchase so that can be the click that has generated that lead or that conversion for you so once you've done all of that you can create and continue and here is where you can actually add your tag now uh, there are two tags that you want to add to your Shopify website in order for things to work effectively the first tag is your G tag which is like your global tag for your entire website and then you have your events tag which is important for your checkout or your thank you pages whatever your success page is you want to make sure that your g tag shows up there so when you click on add tag yourself it will give you these two tags um, and the first one is here and you can kind of copy that and then you can go ahead and paste that into your shopify store so you want to head over to shopify and find where it says online store and underneath that you should see themes and then you want to find actions and you want to edit the code on this theme then you want to look for theme.liquid in uh, your layout folder so as you can see mine is here and you want to see the head tag so uh, as you can see the head tag is there and it should look something like this and if you press the um, enter button then it should allow you to go on the next line and you can paste the code that you've just received from Google into there and you can save that so that will help you to install the G tag then you want to go back to your Google Ads account and you want to click this event snippet and copy that you then want to go back to Shopify again and come down here to where it says settings and in settings you should see your checkout and in the checkout settings if you scroll down you should see where it says additional scripts and here you can paste your code and you can save that now there are a couple of changes you want to make to this tag so that uh, Google will know exactly how much someone has spent when they come to your website and buy from you as a direct result of your Google Ads so I actually have the uh, custom metrics here and I'll leave these in the description down below as well that you can utilize so firstly you want to copy the first one which is a checkout total um, and again you can copy this from the description and you basically want to and you want to take out 1.0 and paste the value that I just added there now it's important that you don't add any additional spaces or take away any additional spaces because that can actually mess up the code and it won't start tracking effectively so you can also go to uh, the currency one so shop.currency and copy that then you want to take out where it says uh, whatever it says within these brackets here take that out and you want to paste your shop.currency inside of there and then you can actually go to order number and you can select that and you can paste that within there as well now once you've done all of that you can actually go and save those changes
Now, Google actually have a tag assistant that you can utilize in your Chrome browser. And I'll leave a link in the description down below to that basically Chrome installation that you can install and test whether or not your uh, tracking code is there. But the events tag doesn't always show up. So you might need to actually go to the page on your Shopify website, that's gonna be your checkout or your thank you page. And you might need to right click and view page source to see if the code has been inputted effectively. But you know, as a rule of thumb, if you are running your Google ads and you're getting conversions, but they are not being tracked, then you might want to go over some of the steps that we've taken in this video. Maybe one of them you've missed out, but that should set you up effectively. And for those of you who don't want the hassle and the aggro of creating profitable ad campaigns for your Shopify website, then you can use Okiano. As I've mentioned, their links will all be in the description down below. They can automate all of your Google ads to your e-commerce business. So it's an absolute no brainer. Try it for three months at 50% discounts using the codes in the description down below. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's a great way for you guys to focus on the aspect of your business that really matters, that's fulfilling orders, and that's sourcing new products. And Okiano can handle all of the back end of driving quality traffic and sales back to your site. So make sure you go and check them out. Um, but I really do hope that this video brought you value. I also have the formula. This is the formula to generating leads and sales online for your business. It's completely free. As you can see, a copy of it is behind me. I will also leave a link to it somewhere in the description down below. So make sure you go and grab your free copy. But I really do hope that this video brought you value. And if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section but until next time watch some of my other great videos make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content have a great day make sure you download the formula and i will see you soon